Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knife to Go Quick Look product review. And what we're looking at this time is the Kurosaki uh, Kuruuchi Aogami Super Nakiri 165mm knife. That's a mouthful. So what we have is a core steel on this line of Aogami, our blue paper super reactive carbon steel from Hitachi. The heat treat is a kind of a somewhat conservative around 62 with these, so it doesn't take them super hard, which um, these are really work well in a pro environment. We've got a number of pros on the Chef Knives to Go forums, and uh, one in particular really espouses. He's got a 240 Guto from this line. He loves it. Uh, so these definitely work well in a pro environment. The construction is, and part of the reason for that is they have a stainless cladding over the top of that Aogami Super Core for a three-layer sandwich, and that stainless cladding has a Kuruuchi or blacksmith finish on top of that for additional corrosion protection and some nice looks to it. The weight is going to vary, and the edge, you know, the dimensions will vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 156 grams, or about five and a half ounces, so kind of medium light range. And edge length around 160 on this, and it varies a little bit because you got this curve on the tip area, but around 160. The overall length about 12.2 inches, 310 millimeters. The spine thickness coming out of the handle. Above the back of the blade is about three and a half, and that's going to vary from knife to knife. It thins out fairly quickly off of that, and then carries like probably mid two, two and a half or so until you hit the end of the blade. This is a fairly stiff Nikiti blade. It's tall and kind of stiff, so a lot of rigidity to it. The blade height is about 50.75 at the back of the blade, and it's pretty much kind of holds that throughout. The handles are really well done. They are octagonal. Uh, rosewood with black pack of wood, stabilized wood ferrule, nice fit and finish on the handles, and the install is pretty tight as well. Um, this particular one is about 72 millimeters uh, in circumference where the ferrule meets the main part of the handle, and a little under 3 inches, so it's a slightly slimmer handle, but uh, it, you, these are kind of oriented around a pinch grip, so you've got a great curve coming out of the handle into the back of the blade, the choil, and it's a great spot for a finger, and these are kind of tailor-made for a pinch grip. Balance point wise, it's pretty doggone close for me for my pinch grip. It's about right there. My pinch grip is just ever so slightly behind that, so it's kind of got a, a nice neutral feel with just a little bit of mass to the blade to kind of help assist cutting. Let's take a close up look. These are nicely finished blades. Slightly rustic, but not, not a lot. Um, you've got a very matte finished Kurauchi. You've got some chiseled kanji on there. Uh, the Kurauchi finish kind of hides that somewhat, but. Uh, Got a nice finish on these. You can definitely see where the core steel comes out at the edge between the cladding layers. And um, what else I like about these is they've polished the spine, so you've got that contrast, you know, silver of the spine with the black of the Kuruuchi finish. It kind of makes it really pop, and they've done the same thing with the choil as well. And uh, so it's real nice, uh, co well, you know, complementary look to it. So um, here you've got um, a little bit of a rounded spine and choil as well, so these are very comfortable. Uh, out of the box, I'd give this a 5, maybe 6 out of 10. It's got a pretty nice out-of-the-box edge on it. Uh, you can, of course, get these sharper, but uh, this comes serviceable right out of the box. And um, these are pretty thin at the edge. They're not you know, super duper thin, but thin enough where they're very good performers. And you've got a little bit of forgiveness with this hardness of the steel. So as I said, these make a nice... Uh, knife in a pro environment, or if you want nice long-lasting edges. Here is our cutting board profile. Every knife will be just slightly different, but in general, here's the profile on this one. It's got kind of a all-around Nikiti profile, in my opinion. It's got a little bit of belly to it, but not much, and you've got a reasonable flat area towards the back half of the blade, so it kind of glides into a flat at the heel. Real smooth profile on this one. And you, of course, have the curved tip, so you can do rocking if you prefer that technique for certain types of ingredients, lower, you know, lower height ingredients, you can definitely do that. But this should be kind of a good all-around profile. Not super flat, like for pure chopping, but uh, pretty much, I think, a neutral profile for a lot of techniques. So just a solid line from kurosaki san These are well ground and. Uh, just great performing knives, nice balance, great handle. Again, good good for pro kitchens if you're, you know, in that environment. Um, so cool knife. The Kurosaki-san 
Kuro Uchi finished Aogami Super Nakiri 165mm knife.